After you finish your compound sentences test, I would like for you to take out a copy of the article that we started reading yesterday about Bad King John. And I want you to open your interactive notebook to the pages where we put the narrative writing strategies. We glued in a page for voice, organization, word choice, and fluency. And while you read, or as you finish reading, um, I want you to go back and add some details um, for each of these. So for voice, it's asking where do you see some examples of the character's role in the feudal system? And you can just copy down some quotes that you found that support that. Where do you see examples of what the character's life is like? What details did the author include that showed you what your character's life is like? And I want you to focus on the grandfather because he's your protagonist. He's the one whose perspective this is being told from. And where do you see examples of the character's personality? And then you're going to go to organization. How is the journal organized from beginning, middle, and end? What does the author do to tell his story? Even though the conflict is not happening right now, it focused to a conflict in the past. So what is the grandfather telling about? And then how does the author create an ending for his journal? After you talk about or think about organization, I want you to go look at word choice. And I want you to look specifically at the exposition. So look back at that first page. What adjectives did the author use to help you visualize the scene? And we're looking for good descriptive language. What specific verbs does the author use? Notice how the author doesn't repeat words. What vocabulary is specific to the Middle Ages to help you understand the setting? And what details help you visualize what the characters are doing? And then the last page, you're going to go write, uh, think about fluency. So list the first words of each of the sentences. Um, and we'll stay at the first three words. So you're going to copy the first three words here of sentence one, then go to sentence two, three, four, five, six. And I would like for you on this one to focus on, oh, let's see, on the third page of the story where it starts with to free the holy land and where it starts talking about John um, when he finally does get some land. So focus on this page right here. After you finish filling in your notes, you're going to go click on the second screencast and I will walk you through what I have for each of these boxes. And if you don't have those things, then I want you to copy them down at that time. But I want you to make your attempt first.